Righto, tell you the chance we have a mini Nook PC from B-Link, the SER range or SIR range. This thing here can replace 99% of those office computers, pretty much probably 100% of those office computers, home and office computers that just do general computing tasks, productivity, stuff like that, viewing content, multimedia. These things are to go, and especially now with the high energy cost, this thing here is super energy efficient. And it just so happens, King Cosmo, one of my friends actually has a fifth generation uh, PC, he just wants a general PC, and I said, these are the go. You know, low cost to run, uh, very efficient. Uh, let's just crack it open and have a look. This actual unit here comes with a Ryzen 5 5560U processor. So it is an Ultrabook processor. These are more common in laptops, these processors, but it's more than enough for a desktop. Actually, he's replacing a fifth generation Intel with eight gigabytes RAM. This will destroy it, absolutely destroy it. More than enough for office computers. You can actually hook them to the back of monitors so you can use them as point of sale, stuff like that. You can vase mount them to the back of the monitors. They're really good. You can put a hard disk, no, 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 no. We can put SSDs in here, okay? So super fast SSDs. We'll have a look at that in a sec. This is it. Yes, this can replace your big beige box PC and with no downsides, really. I mean, maybe it hasn't got the expandability of a big, you know, tower, but it's got pretty much everything you really need here. Look, you've got USB Type A's on the front, you've got USB C, power button here, headphone jack. On the back, you have more USB, so that's four USB Type A's. That's perfectly enough amount of I.O. there. You have Ethernet, also Wi-Fi, that's the power jack there, and you have two HDMI's. So that means dual displays, no problem. This also comes with 16 gigs RAM. I'll have a look inside how upgradable it is. It also comes with a 500 gigabyte SSD in there. So let's crack it open, have a look. And of course, Radeon graphics. So this could play, you know, basic, you know, gaming titles, you know, casual games and stuff like that. Actually can play AAA titles at really low settings, 720p. It's not made for that. It's made for the home or office. You can whack these on the back of monitors. These things are amazing, actually. So what else you get in the box is the power, power brick, that's it. That's the power brick, that small little thing there. HDMI cable, some mounting brackets there and this will be for probably the ssd we get two hdmis do we yes two hdmis for some reason small compact looks cool looks like a little radio look you're not going to have it like that but it looks cool nothing here that doesn't need to be here let's crack her open what i like about this is you see there just screws there i don't have to move some bit of rubber or try and find out where the screws are they're just there Phillips head, take them off, easy. And it's as simple as taking those screws off. And there's a ribbon cable here. I don't know why it's got an extra ribbon cable. I don't know what the go is there. And I think that is spare because this would be a common problem. People would take this off and snap this ribbon. I think that's the go there. And as you can see here, you can put a normal SSD in there, you know, your three and a half, you know, size there, 3.5 size. You can put an SSD there. You've got an M.2 drive here, right? So you can replace that as well, upgrade it. And then you have normal RAM, okay? And this is DDR4. That's what you want. Easy to get RAM for this. Perfect. So for something like this, I would use this crucial sort of, I'll leave a link in the description. This is the sort of one I use for, you know, general purpose computing. Uh, I use this for gaming, even like as a primary drive for laptops. This is perfectly fine, this crucial drive. I will review it. It's the P3, good value. It's the way to go, good capacities and good speed. PCI Express 4, etc. And yeah, so simple to be able to put even a normal SSD in here as well. So... Let's see how she performs. Very well designed, I would say. So I've hooked this up to a 4K monitor. This is not only 4K, it's 4K 120Hz, which this HDMI drives no problem. So 4K 120Hz, this can drive no problems. Uh, we'll get into gaming in a sec, but I've run this quite a few times and I just want to find out how loud it is. Same there, 36 decibels. So when I'm talking, it goes up to 70. That's interesting. 
35, 36 decibels. That's like three decibels over ambient noise levels here. So this thing is very quiet under full load as you see. And the performance gets over 7,000 sort of Cinebench, which is sort of what an M1 Mac would get. So as you can see there, 7,100 on Cinebench. So I really like this thing, compact. It's very good for office, productivity, home, office use. You can do a bit of gaming on it, as you'll see in a sec. All upgradable RAM, M.2 SSD, and also just normal SATA SSD you can upgrade. So expandable, got the right amount of ports. You'd be able to drive 4K 120Hz. Wolf, Wi-Fi 6E, that's awesome. Gigabit Ethernet, it has everything you want. It looks good, it works good. I'm surprised how snappy and fast it is. It's very fast. The performance there, it's got a mobile processor in it, and that's why it's so quiet and so power efficient. 7,000, so basically, it's the same power as a 24-inch iMac. That's the sort of power it has there, the M1 iMac. And yeah, everything's upgradable, everything's good. There's nothing bad about this thing. What, what can you complain about, especially the price? In this world of, you know, rising energy costs and, you know, space savings, being able to mount that to the back of your display there, Bluetooth, it's just, wow, very good. I highly recommend this thing. So you can see here, this is 720p, normal settings, GTA. Uh, yeah, it can play games, casual games it's really good at. Uh, AAA titles like this sort of thing, yes, you're gonna have to lower down the settings, 720, some 1080, like Fortnite, you'll be able to play 1080p. And you can still get an enjoyable gaming experience. So yeah, it it's okay, but it's not a gaming machine, but you can play the games. And yeah, stick with what it's made for. This is great for office, home, office, productivity, business, general purpose computing, but it can game if you want.